What's up guys, it's me, your badass who's Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough right here. So, we finally made it to whatever town this place is, and, uh, well, first things first, we're just going to be talking to this guy, the old powers man, yes, we're getting a little lagginess, but guess what we're still doing the episode, because, yes, we're that badass, look at that. We get experience point power level 1, and, uh, I guess this will, this will help us with, uh, trying to increase the experience points and all that stuff, which is great. So now, let's see. Yeah, we're in Anistar, Anistar City, I think. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, let's see. Uh, yeah, I may not be able to share my love with you, but I certainly can share this TM. Have this. And we get ourselves TM32 Double Team, which is a very good move. And, uh, well, just make sure to come, uh, come on to her every single day, and she'll give you a different kind of TM. Very, very good. Very stuff. And, well, we're going to be healing up our Pokemon because, uh, yeah last episode we actually managed to go through a lot and well it's time for us to take a look at all these things right here so here we are in Anistar and uh, well I can read Pokemon memories people call me the memory girl do you want you to know the memory of your Pokemon sure so let's go ahead and well let's see let's see let's see let's go ahead and find somebody with a good memory so here you got Aaliyah and or yeah hold on yeah Aaliyah and Sparky but I kind of want the memory of, let's see, Kakashi Hitake to be uh, scanned. And she's like, Kakashi was raised by Draven and evolved at the road in Bloom. The Pokemon definitely remembers that it got lighthearted. Do you want another Pokemon's memory? Not really. Not really. Okay, so let's see. Anything else? There is a, what was it called? Uh, there is a shop right here where you can actually ch uh, buy some more clothes, which well, I'll, I'll be doing off screen. And, well... Let us continue on right here. Let's see what we can actually find. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so talk to this guy. You there! Use this to awaken your Pokemon's hidden powers. And we get ourselves a TM10 hidden power. Very, very nice move. And for some reason, there's a math equation on what kind of, what kind of move uh, your Pokemon, or what kind of type of move your Pokemon will be using the hidden power. So now I'm going to ask, what is Godzilla's hidden power? And move type is ghost type. Now, it all depends on a big old math equation and all that stuff, and it changes every single time, too, so, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what the deal is. If you guys can, like, get the equation down below, then that would be great, because I'm not really good at math and anything. Now, if you come right here, let's see, talk to this individual, and he's like, why, hello there! You must be an apprentice of Professor Sycamore, I've heard so much about! It's my guess that you come to ask about the legendary Pokemon of Kalos, uh, the Kalos region, Xerneas. Well, allow me to tell you what I know. It happened about 800 years ago. The Pokemon known as Xerneas used its shiny horns to illuminate the lands of Kalos. At the very moment, people and Pokemon throughout the land felt great energy and vitality surge through their bodies. At the same time, a vast forest sprang up with Xerneas at the center. Legend has it, when it's near the end of its 1,000 year lifespan, Xerneas releases all of its remaining energy, sharing it with all living things nearby. There's another story I know about uh, that, or I know that talks about the appearance of such a fortuitous Pokemon. Back 3,000 years ago, the Kalos region was engulfed in a terrible war. So, the tale goes, a Pokemon came to, to the rescue of all the wounded the wounded Pokemon and had been caught up in the conflict. Some people suspected the, the Pokemon that appeared was Xerneas, but there was no way to know. Maybe they wished a legendary Pokemon had come to rescue them uh, to lighten a, a tale of woe. Supposedly, after Xerneas released its remaining energy, it transformed into a dried up tree. It remains uh, hidden deep within the, the forest. According to the old tales, as I say, stories and tales. Hmm. Well, that's uh, that, that's one way to actually figure out the story. And let's see, what happened to these strange bunch of folks in the red outfits? I wonder if they're out here uh, seeking the legendary Pokemon. A few years back, some people came around here asking the same questions. <laughs> I wonder who. And well, let's get the heck out of here and uh, take care of business once more. Uh, let's see, this place right here is very, very, very familiar. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to I'm actually going to go to the Pokemon Center because that person actually needs 
a person actually needs a, 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 a Pokemon below level 5, I think. So let's go to Cassius and let's see, let's grab a uh, let's grab a no, let's grab a box right here. So the battle box right here, I do have quite a few Pokemon that are below leveled and stuff. Uh, Burmy's one of them. Let's see. Hmm. Jeez, the majority of these Pokemon are above level. Oh shoot. Never mind. Let's see. Uh. Okay. What about Azuril? Okay. You know what? I'm gonna get Azuril. And I'm gonna trade it. Well, I'm gonna switch out uh, Gaia for the time being. Foo! Let's go back to that house because there's a little bit of a tale about that house. Well, something that you need to know. Uh, this individual probably has a few days left of his life, and yeah, he wants to be happy. He's like, with my wife gone, my life has become very lonely. Would you be so kind to let me one of your Pokemon? You know, to keep me company. I hate to be picky, but I'd love to take care of a Pokemon that's level 5 or under. Sure. You've made an old man smile. Which Pokemon would you let me? Let's go right ahead and give him Azuril for the time being. Truly? You Will you lend me this Pokemon? Sure. Wow. So you're, you're an Azuril. Huh. I hope I don't get too bored keeping company with an old man like me. That's good. Now, eventually we will be coming back. He will be, he will be nowhere to be found. Uh, it kind of sucks because, you know, he's at the end of his life right here, which kind of sucks too. Don't like talking about that, but, you know, it, it is what it is with that. So, let's go right ahead and grab uh, Gaia number three. And, well, let's go right here. Continue operations. And let us, let us do what we do best. And that is, I don't know, take care of your business right here. So, let's see. Let's go straight right here. You're going to be finding a pretty cool uh, uh, area right here. I think it's a memorial or something like that. Look at that. Look at that. That is a huge monument right there. I don't know what that does. But I sort of kind of feel like they should have done something with this a little bit more. You know? Since it's all legendary and all that crap. So, let's move on ahead. Let's see. There really isn't nothing else that we can do. Again, guys, this episode is going to be very short just because of the fact that, you know, the gym badge is going to be in the next episode and then a whole bunch of uh, screw events afterwards. Let's see. If you just have a Pokemon by your side, it'll be a... A... A Inke. What the hell? A Inke. Okay, well... It's whatever. Okay, so before we go here... Remember, in the last episode, we got challenged to another battle right in front of the gym. So, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Kakashi this time. Alrighty. So, before we get in there, there it is, Draven. Let me show you how much stronger I am. I did say we were, uh, we're going to be rivals back in the cafe in Lumio City, after all. Ooh. So, we're rivals. Jeez, I thought that we were more than that. So here we go, battling Pokemon trainer Serena. She's coming out. Wither Meowsic. His Pokemon's looking all fancy and everything. Good. Very, very good. Okay, so... Let's do this. Alrighty. Uh, let's sort of attack this Pokemon, and... Uh, I'm surprised it didn't do, like, any kind of flinching moves. Look at that. Nearly makes him faint, and here comes a Shadow Ball. Not so effective. And, well, we're going to finish this guy off with a little bit more of the Surf Attack right here. Look at that. Alrighty. Meowsic defeated. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And Godzilla grows to level 55, which is great too. And he's going to be coming, or she's going to be coming out with a Chestnut. So, let's go to Godzilla. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's get this going. Let's go to Godzilla. Alrighty. Chestnut, looking like a beast right there. Look at that. It's a pretty cool Pokemon, but the only problem is, it is weak towards uh, it is weak towards uh, flying and fire type Pokemon, which uh, that's pretty much what this Pokemon is. And look at that, one shit or one shot, hey, one hit KO right there. And Bone Saw grows to level 46, and here she's coming out with a Vaporeon. So let's go ahead and go with Fluffolt right here. Alrighty, Fluffolt. You know what to do. You got this. It's gonna be easy. Alrighty. Alrighty. He's look, he's going left and right. Going left and right. Here we go. Discharge. 
for the win. And crap, he just gave me a quick attack. So let's go discharge. Look at that. And it wasn't for, it wasn't for the win, but it was still something. So here we go, Thunder Punch. Bam. And Vaporeon has been defeated. I feel good. I feel great. Alrighty. And she will be coming out with an Epsol, so let's go straight to Goku. We've got every Pokemon that can actually that can actually cover this whole thing right here. Goku looking like a beast. Epsol looking like a I don't know. Look looking like a feast right here. So let's go Kamehameha attack. We don't need us there in Super Saiyan to beat this girl. So here we go. Kamehameha attack. For the win. Eat it, Absol. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. And got it. Three grows a little 52. And uh, yeah, am I just good, not good enough to bring out the best of my Pokemon? Yes. No, you're not. No, 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 no. no. You, you are. It's just I'm pretty damn good and all that stuff. So don't, don't, don't feel bad. My Pokemon are much stronger now, but you and your Pokemon are still a step ahead of us. Anyways, I'll heal your Pokemon. Here. Alrighty, you and your Pokemon are good enough to beat the gym leader. Go for it! Okay. Alrighty, so like I said, guys, in the next episode, we will be taking on the gym leader right here in Anastar City. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be doing some stuff off screen. Probably buying some new clothes and stuff, so uh, that's probably what the thing is going to be. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.